What's up guys and welcome back. I'm Duct Tape FPV and I'll be collaborating along with Just Hack It to bring you guys some awesome content. So today we have the Beta FPV 12 Amp 1S B3 AIO. Now many aspects of this AIO have been designed by Just Hack It, like the USB and the pad layout, and the remaining being worked on by Beta FPV engineers. So when you get your package and you open it up, this is all the stuff you're gonna get inside. You will also get a small capacitor, which is not pictured here. All right, so let's talk about the features. This AIO is offered in two variants, HCF-435 and Classical F-405. Now what the difference between the two is the STM-MCU, that's the processor the AIO uses. So the HCF-435 comes with a clone MCU, while the Classical F-405 uses the original STM-MCU processors that are believed to be more reliable. Now. Generally, yes, the clones are a little cheaper, and somewhere out there, there's some data that says that the clone even works better. I mean, you would have to be the judge of that. I don't have access to both of them. I just have this one at the moment. Now, the USB port is another wonderful feature that I'd like to point out to you right here, and it is removable. It utilizes an SH 1.0 connector, and that makes it detachable. So, it gives you a lot more compatibility with your builds. This AIO uses Express LRS, so if that's your receiver, you're in luck. This is very compatible with you. The Beta FPV has upgraded the chipset for the ESC from a BB21 to a BB51 chipset. And this AIO also has HD VTX support. Chasing after waves, the taste of berries on 